This screencast covers the material in Module 6, Lesson 13, in which we construct parallel line segments on rectangular grids. We'll be working with uh, some ideas about triangles throughout this lesson, and hopefully uh, in your classroom your teacher has provided you with a set of these triangles, right triangles, to work with through this lesson. In the first part they say use a right angle template and a straight edge to draw at least four sets of parallel lines in the space below. Well, I have three examples here. And I drew these straight lines here to represent uh, straight edges. So you're going to use these straight edges to guide your triangle templates. I don't really have a way to set this up with the real triangle templates. Uh, maybe someday I'll figure that out. But you've been given a bunch of these right triangles and I'm just going to represent one like this. And uh, your set from the class should have some grid lines within it. So what we want to do is to put your right triangle flush against your straight edge as we have represented here. And then by using the diagonal part here, we're going to create two lines. So I'm going to represent those in red and you're just going to trace along there and do that. Now the next thing you want to do is actually take that triangle again along that straight edge, holding that straight edge in the same position, and bring it this way. We could bring it the opposite way as out. Well, I'm going to try to represent the same triangle as best I can. And then we're going to once again trace that line against the edge, the diagonal edge of the uh, right angle template. So now we have a pair of parallel lines. I could uh, orient my straight edge any way I want. I also could orient the triangle in a different way. So I could, for example, orient the triangle this way. And again, I would take my straight edge and draw my line there. Again, uh, or the, using the edge of the diagonal edge of the triangle, draw that again. And again, moving that triangle along this straight edge. So now it's over here. I again trace that diagonal and I have another pair of parallel lines. Just to do another, I'll make one that's maybe more like this. And again, we're going to take and trace that line, moving that triangle over, once again, a right angle template, and do that. So you're going to have to do that a total of four times. Uh, you have, or should have anyway, uh, a, a pretty good sized little set of these templates, so use a variety of them. Orient your straight edge in various ways and get comfortable with this procedure. The next part here is to circle the segments that are parallel. And I want you to think about triangles once again. So I'm going to look at the first one on the upper left hand side. And I'm going to kind of draw in a right angled or right triangle there. You can see that this triangle goes across to and it goes up to, and I'll need this. I'll need the line that is uh, in this pair to do the same thing to determine if it's parallel. I use a different color this time, so I see that I am across to and up to. So you can see that these uh, triangular uh, that triangles that we draw on this grid can help actually help us determine if a pair of lines is parallels. Sometimes it's easy to eyeball, but sometimes they're pretty close. So I'm going to circle that pair. And we'll look at the next one over here. And I see that I have a triangle that goes up and down two units and across two units. So let's look at the next one. And again, that goes up and down two units and goes across two units. So I'll circle this one. This one's a little harder to eyeball, but let's look at the triangle formed. I go across four and up one. I go across four and up one. So using this grid is quite helpful in determining whether these lines are parallel. So this one is parallel. Now let's look at the fourth one on this top row. I see that this one goes up four and across one. This one goes up four across two or three rather, that is not parallel. And we can look at the uh, first on the left on the bottom. They don't look parallel, do they? So let's just kind of work through uh, the evidence here. I 
go up one, two, three, four, five units across one, two, three. And I can see that the other one here, I'm going to use a different color, doesn't quite doesn't quite go all the way to the edge of the grid there, does it? And it does go up. It does go up five, but it only goes across about two here. So those aren't parallel. Okay, these lines are not the same length. So we're going to actually look at a portion of this line. I'm going to look at where this line intersects grids. And it intersects here and here. So we're going to just look at that portion of the triangle. And I can see that I go across one, two, three, four, five, and up one. Let's take a look at this one. One, two, three, four, five, and up one. Okay, even though they're different lengths, these two lines are parallel. They're close anyway. It's it's really this one does go a little bit beyond, and this one is exactly at the line. That's a very close call. And sometimes these representations aren't that accurate. But I'm going to go with the idea that this goes a f half a unit beyond. So I'm going to cross that out. But as a teacher, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd use some discretion. And looking at the next one here, we see it intersects here. And it intersects... Well, this one's not really firmly laid out. But uh, again, well, we are intersecting here and here pretty closely. So I have to go one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Uh, excuse me, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And I'd say that those are parallel. Uh, eyeballing it, they don't look exactly parallel, but uh, they are. So we need to circle that one as well. So you can see that we can use these triangles, these right triangles, to help us determine whether our... Uh, objects or our, our lines are parallel. Okay, here we have to use a straight edge to draw a segment parallel to each segment through a given point. So I'm looking at my segment here for A, and we see that this is a perfectly vertical line. So all we have to do is use this as a guide here. So we'll take a straight edge and create the line that's parallel. Now we have another line. And we see that we have B here, and our parallel portion is here. And we need to, again, draw this as a horizontal line, so we need to create another line right along this horizontal line that intersects T with our straight edge. So we should, now should have a line that looks like this. Let's go on to C. And we don't have the horizontal or uh, vertical line, but we again have this idea of triangles. So let's look at the first uh, line segment for C, and we'll uh, examine what kind of right triangle that forms. If I draw in here, I can see that I have a triangle that goes up four and across three. So I'm going to have to do something like that here. So I want to look at, I want to go down here, find this point, go down four, and I'm going to change my color here, and I want to go across 3. So this is the other point that I must intersect in order to make my parallel line. So using the two points, point U and the other one I created, as guides and a straight edge, we now have a parallel line. I'm going to do a couple more examples here. I don't know if I'm going to do them all. Uh, let's go on to D. And D, well, it doesn't exactly perfectly align here, does it? But we can see that my endpoint here is a little bit below, and my endpoint here is a little bit below my grid line. So I can kind of imagine this having moved up a little bit. And I can make a triangle that's going to be, and by the way, it's a little beyond here and a little short here. So if we imagine this being slid over a little bit this way, so that a point, uh, the end point is on that uh, intersecting part of the grid and over here. And then if we imagine it just a little bit up, we could see that it's going to make a triangle that goes across three and up one. 
we also notice that this triangle here is a little bit below. So I'm going to just make some small adjustments here. And I'm going to think about going across, then up. Again, that point's a little below. So this point's going to be a little bit below here. Just about touching on it. Again, I'll get my straight edge. And I will draw in the parallel line. I think that's enough examples here. Uh, again, use the same procedure. Think about uh, these right triangles that we can create. Sometimes you have to adjust up and down a little bit or over as we did in D. But you can use these grids to draw a very accurate parallel line. We're going to use a very similar procedure here. It says draw two different lines parallel to line B. And uh, this time it's lines, so it's the wrong tool, lines, so we want to put the arrows in there. And again, we're going to use these uh, right triangles as guides. This is not actually perfectly aligned, but I think we're pretty close in saying that we're going across three, up one. And we can see across three, up one, and across three, up one. Uh, should technically be about there. I'm not sure whether this is... Uh, laid out precisely, uh, but in my classroom I would be happy with another triangle that was up three and across one. So what do we need to do? Well, I can draw another triangle below that one, like that, and I could again use my straight edge to connect these two points to make my diagonal line. So there I have it with my straight edge, and since this is now a line as opposed to a line segment, I would uh, put the arrows on there. And since I want two, I would repeat the procedure. on um, Above line B, I don't think I need to do another example, but uh, you have a pretty good idea. Look at these right triangles formed by the intersections in the grid lines, and use those as guides to create your parallel lines.